I think he's gonna love this salad. It's a grilled lettuce. I mean, can't go wrong. Grilled salad. Come on. It is grilled. You're still amazed. I'm shocked. I've never thought about it, but it's true. Like, wait, why are we grilling lettuce? Sorry for interrupting, just two seconds. But this is a first for me, a grilled Caesar salad. Do you know, they actually grilled the lettuce. Um, can you just show a hand if anyone else has ever had a grilled Caesar salad before? Anybody here, ladies? No? Sorry for interrupting. Sorry. Oh, geez. Oh. I always get nervous when a chef serves me the butt of the lettuce. When you've got the butt of the lettuce on, you can never clean the lettuce properly. And unfortunately, it's not very nice inside. Dry chicken. The salad looks hideous. Why oh, is it so spicy? Everything is spicy, everything. Jesus. Thanks, Danny. Grilled Caesar salad. Coming in, chef. Chicken is dry. The butt of the lettuce never should be at the end of the lettuce. Okay. And why does salad have to be spicy? We're in Mexican American cuisine. Well, he's clearly not from Mexico, so. First of all, Caesar salad is not from Europe, it's from Mexico. I mean, I'm the Mexican here, you're not. It's supposed to be spicy. Oysters? Oh, the flash fried. Yes. Thanks, darling. Are you kidding me? That's an oyster. <laughs> Honestly, it looks like a fossil from Jurassic Park. <laughs> wow, that is disgusting. Can you get me Richard, please? Sorry. Yes, sir. Sit down. OK. When was the last time you sat down and actually ate off your I menu? Have, I have not sampled the entire menu really? like on a regular basis. Wow. Yeah. I want you to close your eyes now. Okay. Please. All right. OK. And just try and identify that. Tell me what you taste there. There's a lot of bread. A lot of bread. A little heat. Mm. Here we go again. Yeah. <clears throat> Something. Oh, you're right? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> yeah. Please, here you yeah. go. Please, okay, thank you. Shit. <laughs> Rich needs water. <laughs> it's about time for, you know, Rich to actually taste the food and see what's going on. Don't choke now. Yeah, it was, it was the spice that got me at the end. Yeah, the spice that got you. <laughs> it's the bread that got me. I'll give you that. No good on the oysters? Uh, yeah, not good. Except is salmon. Salmon. Let's live in hope. What happened? Everything is just way too spicy. Ay, ay, ay. Chef Jorge thought that he was going to impress uh, Chef Ramsay with his food, and he wasn't impressed. I hope that this is definitely like an eye opener for him. So your plate is really hot. Don't worry, babe. Thank you, babe. OK. That looks like the bottom of a fucking bird cage. OK. I mean, salmon served on a bed of sticky rice with a green curry beurre blanc. What the fuck is going on in there? It's like the United Nations of main courses there. What's the style? It's a, it's, I guess it's a little convoluted, isn't it? That's one way of putting it. Yeah. OK. I want you to taste this. Go for the ragu and the strawberries. I mean, just the combination. The rice is just mm -hmm. hideous. Yeah. The spice is ridiculous. And the strawberries and the red onion ragu. Yeah. Gordon is hoping tonight's dinner service will give him some more answers as to why this restaurant is failing. Hi. Hi there. Welcome to Jay Willie's. How are you folks doing today? Potato skins, sure. <laughs> I'm thinking the fish sandwich. Oh, got a 16-inch pizza. What's that for? It's a special pizza. So that's a frozen dough. Yeah. Frozen dough, ranch dressing, and then the, what are these little fish food pellets? That's, what are they? Yeah, free frozen sausage. That's the saddest excuse I've ever seen for a pizza in my life. There's no doubt I've taken some. I've cut some corners. Some of the items are frozen, and that's just from a cost point of view. What's that there? Uh, cooked chicken. I mean, it's like cat food in here. Well, it'll get fully cooked. It's really hard when you're trying to stay open. And what's in here? Some baked potatoes. You don't clean them before they go in? They're supposed to. My god. That's the. I, I didn't put them in the oven. Everything's reheat. God bless middle America. 
The quality of the food is just not there. I wouldn't feed it to my dog. It's embarrassing. It really is. Buy it, defrost it, fry it, send it. You can't call yourself a restaurant. No wonder no one's coming back. Jay Willie's is doing bad because John is not upholding the standards. What are up. OK, thank you. The things that I see in this restaurant, it's like he, he accepts it all and rolls uh, rolled over and died. You think it's too greasy? So you sent your fish back? Yes, I did. What is that? Fish sandwich. Fish sandwich? Yeah, I like it. Is it frozen? Yes. Holy mackerel. My whole sandwich is like all fat. I want something I'm gonna eat. Okay. What have we got here? Oh, lordy. What's wrong with that, darling? She doesn't like it. She doesn't like it. Looks like a dog's dinner. What is that? No. Oh my god. That is a shock. Uh, I'm absolutely devastated. I mean, they're cutting corners, but all in the wrong places. And John, clueless. Nobody responsible for the kitchen, but overall, it's an insult to fast food. It's a fucking disgrace. Son of a... Why the ribs back? She said it was, these were too mushy, these were too cold. Is it good? <laughs> it's a little garlicky, but... It's my food coming back. They're not eating. I, I, I don't know what to say. Horrible. Food just put in the process line, more food coming back that's been sent out. I mean, it's almost like you guys have just, you know, given up. I'm standing here with my jaw on the floor. This was definitely humiliating, eye-opening, embarrassing. Gordon Ramsay's appearance at the restaurant may have brought in some extra customers. We're not eating. We're going to eat some else. But unfortunately, the food has scared many of them away. Jay Willie's is doing bad because John's killing off the business. That's the bottom line. This is your salmon. Wow. This is the special. Yes. Uh -huh. The dill Dijon cream sauce. The dill Dijon cream sauce. Somebody likes. Mm -hmm cream in the kitchen. Who is that? Where do all these cream sauces come from? I don't know who originally started them, but Alexa cooks with a lot of cream. Wow. Everything's made with heavy cream. Aye, aye, aye. We have, oh, there's the salmon under there. Damn, what a cream sauce. Mm-hmm. Thank you, darling. You're welcome. Salmon tastes frozen. It doesn't taste fresh at all. It's dry, very dry. Wow. I mean, it's very old school. Cream on cream on cream. But well, thank you, my darling. You're um, very welcome. Yeah, that wasn't pleasant. All right, I'll let yeah. them know. That was hideous. He says the salmon tastes dry. What? Come on, really? He said cream again. And... Yeah, well, everything he ordered has cream, but. I know. Wow, and, I would think people um... would know what they're ordering before they did it, but that's whatever. I think everything is delicious. I wouldn't serve it if I didn't think it was delicious. There goes another one. God, that wallpaper. It's terrible. What a mess. Randy, when was the last time we had a coat of paint or I changed the wallpaper? When was the last time? Last wallpaper, five years ago. This, this wallpaper is five years ago? No, not this one. Can I show you something? Sure. Please. What's all this here for? And this here? Disrepair. And you pull that table out, and you just see all that mark in there across the wall like that. I mean, this place looks and feels like it's been closed for the last 10 years. It's the look that the restaurant has. Well, hopefully, before the week is finished, I'll get a straight answer. Here is your Yucatan scallops. Oh, here it sir. is. Here he is, Wiley. There you go, Chef. The man. And where are the scallops? Inside in the dish. Inside that oh. boat. Inside Underneath the, in the peppers bones. and, yes. Excellent. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. It is absolutely gross. Wow. Dread. No seasoning whatsoever. And the scallops are just hideous. I've got to find out why this is called Yucatan, because I don't want to insult those people in Mexico. Randy. Um, I'd like to find out why it's called the Yucatan sea scallop dish. What's the relation? The spice with the chipotle peppers. So why is it called Yucatan? Because it's got spice in it. Just the name. You, you just pick the name out of the hat? It bears no relevance to the actual... If it does or doesn't, I'm not actually 100% sure. Are you kidding me? OK. I'm done with that, thank you. That was great.
gross. Scallops are overdone and the sauce is bland. That's the way I've been cooking them. They look beautiful. They were cooked perfectly. I know they were. Getting irritated. I like it. It's an absolute matter of taste. This is just stupid. That's the way we cook. That's, that's, it wasn't an off day. Worthy of sparkling water, I have to have tap water here. Are we going to reset this table? Eeny, meeny, mine and mo. catch your manager by the toe. You are what? Floor. You're the floor manager. Floor manager. Everybody here hates Khan, and I can't fire the guy because he's protected by Muhammad. Now, we have a floor manager, operations manager, and general manager. I was resting, just thinking of various things I've got to sort out, and one of the waitresses was rubbing my hair. It was a natural thing. How many managers does this place need? I found a new manager. We now have a floor manager, and amongst the operation manager, that's managed by the general manager. Three fucking managers, and they're all shit. Dear, oh, dear. Oh, fucking holy Moses. Oh, dear. Fuck me. Lift it off the floor. And don't put it on the floor. Hello, madam. Floor manager, operations manager, general manager. Anybody? Mohammed, can you explain to Gomez? Yes. Yeah? That we've got to stop putting things on the floor. Yes? It's unhygienic. Unhygienic, and it could be dangerous too. It's very dangerous. Yes. Dear, dear, dear. It's 40 minutes into the service, and unbelievably, no food has left the kitchen. My first table still hasn't gotten their entree. I just want to understand what's taking so long this. One of the major reasons for the delay, kitchen chaos. This is the first yeah. table in this restaurant, and they're just... Oh, they already, they already done. No. I only give him that the salad. Who's in charge here? I'm taking over expediting here. You're expediting? Yes. Mohammed, what are you doing in here? I'm trying to help them up. You've got three managers, two chefs, eight girls out the front, and no one yeah. can fucking delegate. Oh, my god. OK, kids, one order of salmon left, one salmon special. Let everybody know. And when information is shouted from the kitchen, Martin is busy again, not with customers, but with his phone. Oh, my god. OK, that has to be ready before this goes up. Ultimately, Martin doesn't belong in a leadership position. Tell the manager on the floor to do something about it. This place is running in chaos. It's totally dysfunctional, and there needs to be leadership here. So what are you cooking tonight? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. Get me the general manager, Martin, please. All right. Not your Martin! Gordon Ramsay was really getting under my skin. OK, right. Uh, this young man's here, he's standing here, and he hasn't got anything to cook. Is this how you run a place? No, I don't, I don't run a place like this, all right? Why did it take me to let you know that he's standing there playing with radishes? Because, um... I You're was... busy. That's a horrible thing to say, but I was busy at the front there, yes. Oh, right. He was alluding to my relationship with the waitresses. Yeah, you get off on it. Girl stroking your hair, <laughs> massaging your fucking ego. You're such a fake. I'm not fake, I'm just... Why, why are you saying I'm a fake? You've got members of your team standing here getting paid doing fuck all. I've never met a general manager so shit as you. Okay. If this was your money, would you let him stand here playing with no. his dick? That's what you're doing here, isn't it? You're riding Mohammed, you know. You're skinning that poor man. Yes, you fucking are. You're taking advantage of a weak, rich man. That's what's just fucking clicked in my mind. He got personal. He was accusing me of riding Mohammed, this type of thing. And that got me, because how the hell have you got the right to say something to me that you don't even know me? We've got more staff than customers tonight, and we still can't get it fucking right. General manager. General Tosspot. 